Jackson Podcast. Hey, what's popping with y'all, man, on this beautiful Wednesday night, man? Like, I just wanted to address something. I just wanted to document something because I see a tide changing in the culture and in hip hop from probably the artist who has the best catalog. Or one of the best catalogs. Let me not just. Drake has a hell of a catalog, dog. Yesterday, I was just listening back to some of the records. I was like, man, fancy with Swiss beats. Uh, just a lot of records, man. I don't even want to name off all the records because it's too many. Who else got a dope catalog? A lot of people. Tupac got one of the best catalogs of all time. Nas, Jay-Z. It's just a, a, a lot of artists that got good catalogs, but Drake is damn near one of the top. Maybe the top. And for all these things to be happening, it's like his reign at the top is gone. Who is his handlers? I heard this yesterday. I got to play it. I heard this song yesterday. I said, who is Drake handlers to let him feature on some shit like this? Let's go. Educate me on Wagwan Delilah. What does that even mean? Wagwan. Don't I square low shine as bright as you? Top left, top left. Wagwan Delilah, you live for it. It's such a mission. I go finesse my way on a transit. But nowadays, these guys are dissing. Are you dumb? I scared my press though with no friends Kick me off you get brunch Oh, don't you be acting me <laughs> No, there's a 40 in my jeans Love. And oh, you sure do you want to reach So oh, these are my co- It's hard for me to tolerate this much this might be one of the lamest Why rap songs I ever heard. I'm late cause there's bad traffic. I just showed my dog a Grammy. Said he knows a man I slapped it. I'm so cheesed. Your madam was a night's geek. I'm bent low key. Walk on Delilah, double date me if you like me Brought my chronome for your bestie, sorry He's wearing a shiesty, he's not beat It's just too smoky in these streets You're looking sweet Oh, don't you be acting me I think it said I'm looking cheesed I'm looking cheesed Man, stop Stop, Drake. You should not even featured on this record. That was what made me want to do this whole podcast. Is his reign at the top over? Now, with the things that has been happening at his home multiple times. You know, I got to be careful with the things that I say on these podcasts because the algorithm is changing. And a lot of these content creators that y'all see now, y'all won't be seeing much longer. Ain't going to be no money in this YouTube thing, man, if you don't know how to adjust your language and speak accurately and correctly because them, them community guidelines is something else. But that song, and that song previously with Sexy Red, Coming off the beef with Kendrick Lamar, taking the L in that beef. If we're going to be accurate, he took the L in that beef. He lost the wall of words. And uh, the things that happened to him, the allegations that came out of that, the, uh, the things that happened at his home, it's just that his reign at the top is shorter than leprechauns. The, it, something came out last week now. Something came out the week before that. Something came out 10 years ago that I don't think people even care about. They may care about it. They may not. But I'm going to play it. Sing me, bitches. Higher shooter. Higher shooter. You're ready to be bitches. And I'm on my riches. Uh. 
I turn up the bitch. I turn up the bridge. It ain't what it is, sure. Black punch, cause that limo moving fast. Watch your homie if he move, he on his ass. In the rocket, and that bitch ain't got no tax. Louis bags, in exchange for body packs. Yeah. I'm sticking these niggas, hey. I'm sticking these bitches, huh? Sign your shooter, huh? Sick of these niggas, sick of these niggas, hide some help, get rid of these niggas, sick of this shit, move to the rich, turn out the bitch, it is what it is, yeah, GLE, cause that limo moving fast, S class, G class, lot of class, in a rocket and that bitch ain't got no tag. As, as a consumer, does that matter to y'all? My fault, y'all had to pause the audio. I got a lot going on on this episode because I got so much audio coming from YouTube and Twitter and stuff that I got to be careful because I want to make sure that the show is right for y'all. So does that matter to y'all artists with reference tracks? Like artists have had reference tracks for years. People write for people. It's been a big thing in the industry forever. And uh, some of your favorite artists is <laughs> ain't writing them raps, but they still have to perform. They still have to perform it. Now, Vori is an underrated artist. A lot of the best artists that writes the records, the people don't like him, though. You may not think he's cute. You may He may not be the person that is intriguing to you for you to want to listen to him say the things that he's saying. You may like it more coming from Drake. That's interesting. Now, it's another song also. This came out. A while back. He took this song from Lil Yachty. We ain't even out in Turks, you finna take sand. Riding around with F and M, we like the whole hands. I just pulled me off the phone, finna take sand. Riding around my F and M, like the whole hands. Yeah, this is a reference track that leaked, showing Lil Yachty wrote pretty much the So, Lil Yachty wrote Jumbo Tron shit. Everybody know that. It sounds just like Lil Yachty. But why we don't like it from Lil Yachty? Why would we prefer to hear from Drake? Now, 21 Savage is a collaborator with Drake, and he exposed this part about Drake. Drake stole Knife Talk with 21 Savage from Metro Boomin' and made it his own song. The song was originally called Gang Shit with just 21 Savage and Project Pat. So snatch up, ain't no regular F-150, this a fucking rapper. Yeah. And it was supposed to be on Savage Mode 2. Oh, it, I had that song. That song yeah. was supposed to go on Savage Mode 2. But 21 Savage sent Drake the song two days before Certified Lover Boy dropped, and Drake wanted to add a verse and put it on his album. I sent him that song like two days before the album came out. Really? Swear to God. He did his verse the day before the album came out. I heard Poppy outside. And he got the double law, drop it outside. Now, a couple years later, Metro Boomin tweeted the original version of Knife Talk the same week that the Drake verse that Metro removed. You know, to me, I'm going to give y'all a take from me. I'm not just going to keep laying it out because I got one more thing to play and it's kind of lengthy. To me, you can't be considered one of the greats when you have an easy route like that. Like anyone can perform someone's lyrics over a hot beat that was already created. You ain't doing nothing. You actually don't even deserve credit. It, it, it might come out on your album or whatever, but the producer and the writer and the artist get credit. You don't even get, you can't even get paid from the record only to perform it. You get zero dollars because you didn't contribute into the creative process. You just said something. If, if y'all know in the music industry, the... The performer has to uh, structure a deal to even be able to get paid from the song. Because if you didn't write it, you didn't produce it, there's no percentage structure for you unless you tell the writer, I got to get certain certain percent because you know if my voice on it, then it's going to do some numbers and you're going to get paid more than if my voice wasn't on it. So you got to restructure it. And uh, this is just, man, it's, it's, it's different to me to see an artist of this caliber get so exposed. But who is leaking all of these things to expose Drake? Who want him up out of here? Because we didn't know all of this stuff, man. Even though Quentin Miller came out and he gave DJ Drama all that information that started the Drake and Meek beef. But we stopped caring about that when Drake 
annihilated me. But is uh if somebody wrote back to back, let's just say that. If somebody wrote back to back, how would y'all feel about that? Would y'all care? And do y'all even care that he doesn't even write his own raps? Real talk. But not him just not writing majority of his own raps. That was a hit, too, that he didn't write. That mob, that mob song, that Vory wrote, that was one of his, that was one of his most aggressive, you know what I mean, songs that the rapper rappers could appreciate. Boy, if we find out he didn't wrote back to back, that's a problem. Now, not only writing, but this is something that caught my attention too. This guy, let me let me give him some credit. On Twitter, he is Curtis Basher. He created a 17 minute video of Drake stealing lyrics and flows from other artists. And I want to start it from the top. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to start it from the top because if y'all ain't heard this or if y'all heard it, you know what I mean? Salute. But this is this is, this is is crazy that someone has been allowed to get away with this for so long. Now, and I created a video on this channel about Jay-Z stealing big lyrics or was it paying homage? That's what I the question was laid out on the channel. Is this thievery or is this paying homage? What is this right here? Real talk. Drake stole other people's lyrics. Uh, I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'm going to do it for the best. I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. But I do know one thing, no. Women, they come, they go. But I do know one thing, no. Chickens, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow Maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow Till then I'll sit my drunk ass on that runway Till then just sit your drunk ass on that empty He didn't steal just a few bars He took the whole verse and made it Instead of rap, he made it melodic Runway, oh Girl, you look good, why don't you back that ass up You'll find my fucker, why don't you back that ass up Girl, you look good, why don't you back that ass up Salute to the OG short dog. Salute to you, dog. Oh, money new women gotta keep a bounce. The girl of your dreams to me is probably not a challenge. The girl of your dreams to me is probably not a challenge. Ten bands, fifty bands, hundred bands, fuck it, man. Ten bands, fifty bands, hundred bands, fuck it, man. I'm trying to run through the budget, man, on G. Nigga sleep, I ain't tripping, I'ma let them sleep. When I get it, nigga, rest in peace. I can tell you how it happened. I can tell you about them safe house nights on Calabasas. I can tell you. Golly, he might need to. Him and Quentin Miller might need to hash it out. Yeah, Quentin Miller was writing them hits. Now, them, them last two that Rico, that was on Meek Mill album and this 10 bands, Quentin Miller wrote that. That's Quentin rapping on that. Them some of his most exquisite balls. Not a rapper. You niggas selling swag. I ain't gotta open up the package. Who you with? What you claim? Sex all over me, you know I'm 13, 17. Sprite dirty like Diana never clean. My ex asked me why I'm moving. I said on the better things. Oh, 10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands. Fuck it, man. Trying to run through the budget, man, on G. I ain't tripping, I'ma let him sleep. When you wake up, nigga, rest Count money, you know how. Who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the store? Uh, who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the store? You tell me who flop, who cop the new drop, who jewels got rocks? You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got rocks? Same old pimp. Mace underrated too, boy. That nigga be spit. 
You know ain't nothing changed but my limp Uh, one thing about music when it hits you feel no pain One thing about music when it hit you feel no pain If you were worried about where I've been and who I saw or If you were worried about where I've been and who I saw Please baby don't worry you know that you got I'ma tell y'all something that's crazy Salute to Erica Badu too They got a countdown on this shit man it's the top 100 songs he stole. Balls from. And it's an 87 now. Cause if I fucked up, I'm gonna be downtown, man. If your ass step, I'm gonna be downtown, man. Four flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Four floor bound, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the air so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. Push me to the air so it really ain't my fault, man. And then if I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. I'm counting all day like the clock on the wall. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a take a pause in that. The man who has had the longest run in hip hop is his run at the, his reign at the top over. This is this is spooky to see the reference tracks, to see the quotes that he stole. Do y'all care about that and just want good music? Do y'all just want good music? Cause the music is good, the catalog is big, but pause. But do y'all want authentic music? Do y'all want a person writing from his life experiences? Writing from his own life experiences? Or do y'all even care about that? I'm going to play a little more. Then I'm about, I'm going all day like the clock on the wall. Got a shorty named Texas Sin. She got a buddy named Young JB. And now you know the deal. I got a whole name real to real. She got a buddy named SB12. Not Rest in peace, rapper Forte. Big salute to the bay. Why the songs that you hear coming real tight? We get freaky in the studio late night. That's why the beats that you hear coming real tight. You a player in the game, this should hold you. If you's a player in the game, this will hold you. Broke that dick like a soldier. She wrote it like a soldier. She wrote it like a she rolled that dick like a soldier. She rolled it like a soldier. She rolled it like a Calio soldier. She Girl, I gotta watch my bag, cause I'm not just anybody. Shit is in a box to the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Start with straight shots, then get the bottle popping. with start with straight shots, and then pop bottles. Yeah. Said, tell me what's really going on. Tell me what's really going on. I'm done, man. Is it over? Do y'all care? I'm going to put a, a link in the description to that video. I, this video is 17 minutes. I didn't make it five minutes in. I don't want to bore y'all to death or play all of those records. But this is crazy to have stolen this much material and to be proclaimed as one of the best of all time. Like, if he knew he was doing all this stuff, he shouldn't have even attempted to go against Kendrick Lamar. Me, personally, I think Kendrick Lamar is a great artist. I don't think he's the best rapper in the world or none of that, to be honest with you. But he's an artist. He's a writer. He's a creator. You can tell by how he releases music. He's not always trying to be in a in the public light. But that beef that Drake should have left alone has exposed a lot and has got him in a lot of situations that could have been avoided. And... It's sad to see, to be honest with you, this level of exposure. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the show and supporting the channel, man. Peace, love, plenty of abundance. Make sure you go get you some money and I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs>